Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World video today, here for Jurassic World Chaos Theory. That's right, we're going to be talking about the new show again. I want to talk about one thing specifically, and that is the Allosaurus that will be appearing in the show. As we know that the main antagonist for at least the first season that we will be witnessing is supposed to be an adult Allosaurus. However, this alone has led me to one question on my mind recently. Which Allosaurus is it going to be? Because as of Fallen Kingdom's ending, we know that there were at least three Allosauruses that were captured by Kim Wheatley's team and released afterwards, with one of them being sold off in the auction by Eli Mills and Gunnar Eversall, and the other two making their way in the forest of California. However, with Dominion and us seeing one all the way in Malta, and also Battle at Big Rock showcasing a half-blind Allosaurus, it leaves us with an important question. Which of these three will we be seeing again in this new show? Well, if you've seen my video for the Carnotaurus and what happened to it after Fallen Kingdom's ending and how it got all the way to Malta from being in California, you'll know that I have some pretty interesting thoughts on the Allosaurus that we saw in Dominion. I've theorized that that one was not actually the Allosaurus that was sold off in the auction and may have been actually the third Allosaurus, as that's the one we don't really know too much about. But let's rule out the one that we know it's not going to be, and that is the one from Battle at Big Rock. No matter when this takes place, there's no chance that we could have that one be the Allosaurus, as it was shown as being half-blind. However, both the Allosaurus that we saw um, sold off in the auction back in Fallen Kingdom's ending, as well as the one that was in Malta, both of those two had their eyes fully intact and no damage done to them. So, due to the fact that the toy showcases that the eyes are fully intact for this Allosaurus itself, we know that it won't be the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus specifically which this will leave us with two choices left, the one in Malta and the one that was sold off from the auction. Now also, this is based on my own personal theory for the Allosauruses and which one's which, so maybe the one that was in Malta was actually the one that was sold off in the auction, so that I could be incorrect about that, but the sake of, for the sake of this video, I'm going to say that they're different ones. The one that is Allosaurus in Battle at Big Rock and the one that was sold into Malta and the one that was in the auction, they're all completely separate. But anyway, my thoughts are that it either has to be the one that we see in Malta or it has to be the one that was sold off in the auction. Now, due to some other information that we got not too long ago that I covered in a previous video, we know that the Atrociraptor is a species that will also be returning to the franchise. And since we don't have a definite time on when this takes place, we know only that it's post-Battle at Big Rock from what we've heard so far, but we don't know if it's post-Dominion or pre-Dominion. But either way, if it's with Atrociraptors, then a certain town and a certain character may be returning, and that is Malta and Siono Santos. Now, I won't get into that for this video, but that's going to be its own topic later on in another video. However, if the Atrociraptors are a species that is going to return, this leaves us with the likely situation that if this is pre-Dominion, then perhaps it can connect to my Carnotaurus video with a theory that I had for the Allosaurus that appeared in Malta, as well as the demon Carnotaurus that we saw in that scene as well. And you know my theory on what happened there. Is it possible that we will actually get to see the origins of how both of these two got to Malta? Well, I think it's very likely, and that's why I'm going to state for this video, my personal opinion is that this is probably going to be the Allosaurus that we saw in Malta, and if it's pre-Dominion, then I think we're going to actually see how it was captured by the black market operatives of Malta, which will be very interesting because then it will tie into other dinosaurs that we didn't see for Fallen Kingdom's timeline that we know are appearing, such as Suchomimus and Pachyrhinosaurus. So it may be that we see some of those in the black market, which means we could see the return of Malta itself. This could be much larger for a scope than Cancretaceous ever was, 
and even might be larger than Dominion scope depending on how long the series runs. But for the sake of this, let's also go into the possibility that it's the Allosaurus from the auction. Now, we know that that one was sold off and immediately shipped out, so we wouldn't be seeing it in the wild, but that also leaves us with a lot of questions, such as how come we're going to be seeing it at all, considering that if it's not going to be in California by the time the story takes place, and since we know that's where Darius and the other campers were located, at least most of the campers were located by the time Fallen Kingdom's events took place, it leaves us really wondering how is Darius going to get involved with this? Maybe it'll be with the other character named Sydney. Maybe they'll find a connection through her that leads the story to go further. I don't know. But whatever it is, guys, I'm really excited about this show. But let me hear in the comments which Allosaurus do you think it is? And what do you want to see for the story of this Allosaurus? If it's the Malta one, do you want to see how it was captured? Or maybe we'll even see it after it's already been captured and we're seeing the process of it getting to Malta, which would be just as intriguing in my opinion. Or do you think it's going to be the one that we saw get auctioned off by Eli Mills in the Lockwood Estate? Or do you think it's going to be another one? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And if you feel extra special in wanting to support the channel, join the Patreon while you're at it. And until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.